Hey guys, um, it's me again. I finally got into the um, dungeon that I needed to actually record before the twelfth because it's getting changed. Oh my god! <clears throat> you cannot cut these, like skip any of these cutscenes. Look, scene cannot be skipped. And I hope people brought snacks because we're going to be here for a while. Like maybe 40 minutes. I don't know. Soloing this, it took me about 40 minutes. So, yeah. So here we are. The ultimate weapon is almost certainly being housed in the depths of the complex. This is it, my friend. Greetings. Oh, someone has gone AFK. Like they have disconnected. That's fun. Great start to the video. Right, and people usually skip through all these ads because they cannot be bothered with them. So I'm just going to follow everyone else's lead here. So you need to grab hold of this uh, terminal and activate the lift. Okay. Right, these guys you have to do. Come on, over here. And again, guys, I am on my Reaper, just like uh, the previous video that I uploaded. Uh, my Reaper is also maxed out as well because I've recently finished off Endwalker. Hence why above my name it says Endwalker. Right. Pick up this Imperial Identification Key and use the Magitech Terminal, which will open up this gate. Or door, or whatever you want to call it. Okay, and we have two gun breakers. Right, people usually run past all this as well. Ow. I got shot in the butt. Stop shooting me in the butt. It's a nice butt, but stop shooting me in the butt. Right, run down here. Wee. Ooh. Maybe not jump from that distance. second wind um, see if we can actually use this magitech terminal uh, nope I'm under attack so I cannot use it oh and I'm about to die no I'm dead it's fine um, starting location oops Best thing is we can just shortcut it. Okay. Luckily. Right. So this is where the next cutscene will take place. Once we open up this door. Okay. Monologue one. <laughs> Are we ready for this, guys? Gaius. <clears throat> ah, Sid, my boy, you are late. 
There is something I have always meant to tell you, yet the time was never seemed right. It concerns your father. What of him? <laughs> I am your father. In the winter of his years, Midas came to adhere his part in mentor. He told me that he wanted nothing more than to wash his hands of the whole project. But he did wash, not wash his hands of it. He helmed the project till the day it killed him. Come now, Sid. You must know that he did not have the luxury of choice. By the time he realised his error, it was too late. Meteor had him completely in its thrall. Shortly before this transformation, mayhap, sensing that something was amiss, your father confided in me all the regrets of his life, most of them concerned you. Earlier on in your career, he realised that while you had a talent for devising ornaments, it would never fulfil you. Long before you knew your own mind, he saw that you would be far happier using your knowledge for peaceful purposes, and the thought touched him. He was a changed man for it, though he could not let it show. You blew holes in this place, just so you can say this to me. What is it you want, Gaius? I want you at my side, Sid. Take up your father's mantle and become the, empire, the Empire's lead engineer. My father had a change of heart, you said so yourself. Besides, I have long known my destiny and I assure you it lies not with the Empire. A pity. And what of you, adventurer? Will you not consider making common cause with me? Mm, no. With your powers joined to mine, we might do much for this realm. No. No, I can expect no better answer than this. So be it. It was your strength that made me pop in my hand in friendship, and it's your strength that makes me now pop in my blade. Save as an ally, you are too dangerous to be let to remain. Run, Sid, or stay. It, mat it makes no matter. You cannot escape this. Gaius, wait. Damn it. Oh, that's bright. No heals. Oh, no. <laughs> We've lost our healer. Oh, no. This is going to be great. I've done this with only one tank, so... <laughs> Ooh, I felt that rumble. Knowing guys, he's heading for the ultimate weapon. If we find him, so too will we find our quarry. With these instruments, we can monitor every nook and cranny in the castrum. I think it's time we divided our forces. Pray go on and give chase. I'll track your movements from here and guide you through the complex. We'll stay in contact via Link Pearl. Be careful, all right? Yeah, I, I, I promise. I'll be careful, Sid. Oh, get on the podium. And I'm just gonna bee's knees. Might as well have a little dance party while we're waiting. Right, we can run past all this. Right, we 
need to kill this big guy in order to open up a door. Nope, the door's already open. Okay. <laughs> you have been spotted. The door opens because you have been spotted. Okay. Mm, makes sense. Maybe you should close everything down. <laughs> And we're also gaining a little bit of gill while doing this. Right, there should be something that drops. Yep, the identification key. And then we use a terminal. Okay. Now we also need to use this. Oh, I'm apparently clicking on a peer. Right, I am now authorised to operate a suit of Magitek armour. Oh, that's a nice um, bunny girl. This person here. Very nice. She's revved up alive and everything. Hi. Ah, there she is. I trust you recognise our old friend Maggie, was it? They must they must have shipped her in. Considering all she's been through, it's a wonder she's still operational. Tough old girl. Now that you're suitably armed, we can blast open that bulkhead. The external walkway is now available to be thingied. Yeah. <laughs> I will say the speech is pretty fast. Follow it till you come upon the way down. Yeah, this speech is pretty fast, but I'm pretty sure you guys can pause it and read, you know, if I haven't caught up with every line and word that's actually said. I'm just having this out ready. So it's basically like, you know, you can two shot the things with this. Oh. Yeah, we're all just basically targeting at this uh, thing. Oof. Right, where's the thing? There it is. Um, these arm things that you just saw will do a pushback if you get too close. I learned that the hard way by doing this solo, because I barely ever actually get to do this part. Because of there being like so many people. Yep, the potato killer just got flung back. So, you know. Right, 
And this one's got two arms. We can continue on. That bulkhead is compressed to special alloy. Extremely tough. Ordinary fire won't leave a mark, I'm afraid. You'll need to divert all power to the Magitek cannon, as I did so memorably once before. As you may recall, the armor's core is like to expire from the strain, but there's no help for it if we want to press on. Now listen well. Please bzz, the control. Bzz, bzz, bzz. Engage artillery, then fire away. Don't mind the warning lights. Poor Maggie. Poor, poor Maggie. You're a natural at this. All right, the way's clear, but it's just you and your own two feet now, so be careful. Why are we sprinting? <laughs> Oop, wrong button because my sprint's set to that. <laughs> Forget my uh, Reaper's got like every skill that I use on the first bar. <sighs> you have been leaving a fine mess in your wake, adventurer. Is, there, is someone there? Garland, old friend. How it warms the heart to hear your voice again after all these years. Nero, is that you? You sound well. It would seem this savage land agrees with you. The highest ranking Trebian of the 14th. It was you, wasn't it? Tell me, Garland, how long did, do you intend to keep all the glory for yourself? Uh, what? You've lost me. Don't play the fool with me. Ever since the Academy, you have been condemned to live in your shadow. By all objective measure, I was the more talented of the two of us, yet there, that fact counted for naught besides your privileged birth. You're admired as the young protege simply because your father was the great Mandis. When you defected, I felt sure that I would transcend. But by disappearing, you equated the status of a legend. Your reputed genius gained credit merited by dim dint of your absence. Instead of cursing you as a traitor, the people actually came to think of you fondly. I, meanwhile, have been made to feel second rate. I, who have continued to serve our nation faithfully, whenever I fail to extend, why is it only to be expected? Yet when I succeed, all reasonable expectations, people proclaim that I walk in the footsteps of the great Sid. Nia, I don't know what to say. It matters not a whit what I achieve. Your existence has rendered mine worthless. Even Lord Valbesar saw fit to offer you a place at his side, and this in spite of your betrayal. Did he extend any such offer to me, the man who has remained loyal to him all these years? Why, no, he did not. Long have I endured this injustice, but no more. Lord Val... Lord Van Belsar is in the midst of activating the fully powered Ultima weapon, and in it, my Magnus Optus, the creation that will win me the recognition in I am due. Nero, what are you?
ever since I first set foot in this land, I have watched you every move you have made, every step you have taken. You have felled icons, a feat made possible by the Echo, a peculiar power which shields you from their corrupt influence. It is of little wonder that my lord has taken an interest in you. As have I, if truth be told, it is my desire to harness your power for use. Shall I succeed, Lord Valbelisar will surely take notice. Besides this, Galamon's achievements will be like child's play. Come, adventurer, and yield to me the secrets of your power. Okay. He has a freaking tendency to just run away from me, yeah. Okay, maybe get out of the electricity would be a good start. I am not going in there. Oh, come on, you. Come on. Ow. Ooh, 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 ooh. There we go. I don't have my thing. Yeah, I don't have anything that's, like, around me. So I guess I could do a this. There we go. Whew. When you can just teleport. It's great. Sorry guys, I was just taking a drink. This changes nothing. Blackout. <coughs> Where did he go? <laughs> Ah, the ultimate weapon is activated and it brims with the power of icons. Nothing can withstand its might. Are you all right? Yeah, I'm fine. What of Neo? Fled, damn it. In the instant prior to the blackout, the instruments detected a massive power surge from the deepest chasm. Gaius is certain to be there. We have no time to waste. Word arrived from the Alliance a short while ago. It seems the Order of the Twin Adder has completed its blockade at Castrum Sintra. What hands they can spare have hastened to sway, even as we speak, and likewise for the Maelstrom. All that's left is to destroy the Ultima Weapon. I should warn you, the chamber which houses the target appears to be saturated with etheric energies. They're bound to be heavily influenced interference but even if we lose contact you must go on just don't do anything i wouldn't do all right yeah okay <clears throat> do you have to ask <laughs> right we need to go over here I do love that hair though on this bunny girl. The black with the red. It's quite nice. But I think that only happens on bunny girls. Look for the lips control panel. It'll be somewhere nearby. I don't have to talk. <laughs> Take the lid down. And you should find yourself in the chamber of the ultimate weapon. 
finally they've voiced it. <laughs> Yeah, the change in this one, so it's from a eight man to a four man. And then the last fight is, I think, going to be changed to a solo duty. So, yeah, that's fun. Keep your eyes peeled. Guys could be waiting for you down there. God, you can oh, hear the interference. Don't even think about God. It's too bloody useful. <laughs> Longer. <clears throat> Hi, guys. Tell me, for whom do you fight? For Eosia. I'm just like, what? <laughs> How very glib. And do you believe in Eorzea? Yes. Forged of falsehoods. Its city states are built on deceit, and its faith is an instrument of deception. Oh, really? Do you care it to explain? Is not but a cobweb of lies. To believe in Eorzea is to believe in nothing. In Eorzea, the beast tribes often summon gods to fight in their stead, though your comrades only rarely respond in kind. Which is strange, is it not? Are the twelve otherwise engaged? I was given to understand they were your protectors. If you truly believe them, your guardians, why do you not repeat the trick that served you so well at Cartano and call them down? They will answer. So long as you lavish them with crystals and gorge them on ether. Your gods are no different from those of the beasts. Icons, every one. Except for this. And you will see how Eorzea's faith is bleeding the land dry. Nor is this unknown to your masters. Which prompts the question, why do they cling to these false deities? What drives even men of learning, even the great Louis Soir, to grovel at their feet? The answer? Your masters lack the strength to do otherwise. For the world of man to mean anything, man must own the world. To this end, he hath fought ever to raise himself through conflict. To grow rich through conquest. And when the dust of battle settles, it is ever the strong who dictate the fate of the weak. Oh, that's so bright. Knowing this, but a single path is open to the infinite ruler, that of false worship, a path which leads to innovation and death. Gold guy is man of power can rightly steer the course of civilization. And in this land of creeping mendacity, that one truth will prove its salvation. Come, champion of Eorzea, face me. Your defeat shall serve as proof of my readiness to rule. It is only right that should take your
Okay, and another cutscene. That was foreshadowing, maybe? Yet, you lack the resolve to put it to proper use. A waste. It's one of the cutscenes that make this one so long, <laughs> mind. that is The big guy. Why are you facing this way? Ow! So there's the first um, lot done. Well, the primals have to get out of the thing and as you saw, Gruda is already out. I'm pretty sure I also saw Titan. Which means that we're just waiting on Ithrit.
Titan as well. Yep, Titan's out. Right, and just keep doing it until the cutscene activates. But the Ultima Weapon is all powerful. Why does my enemy still stand? Now that's the question, isn't it? Can her strength truly be so great? Yes. It is the blessing of light that confounds you. Hello, La Habrea. La Habrea. Give me back, thank feed. Your foe acts under the protection of the crystal she bears. You bitch. So, this is what empowers her. Beyond mortal limits. Love Sancred, if though. you are to prevail, the hammer of darkness must needs be brought to bear upon the shield of light. And so it shall, for the ultimate weapon is host to a power of which you are as yet ignorant. Speak plainly, Asian. The heart of Sabik. It is the weapon's core, an enigma whose surface even the vaunted scholars of ancient Alec failed to scratch. The magic within has lain dormant for eons. Of what magic do you speak? A spell without parallel, Ultima. Sought the life force of the primals for no other reason but to quicken the core. For the true power of the Ultima weapon lies within its now beating heart. La Habrea, what have you done? No more than was necessary for my god to be reborn. Damn you, Asian. Goddamn Asians. The hour is at hand. Behold, but a sliver of my god's power. Your god is a weak bitch. And from the deepest pit of the seven hells to the very pinnacle of the heavens, the world shall tremble. Unleash! Ultima! Boom. It might be so bright because I am doing this in a dark room. Because <clears throat> it is like half past one in the morning here. Eek. the task of keeping your champion alive has exhausted what strength you had left. Van Belzar, your enemy's shield is broken. The rest I leave to you. We will speak later, Asian. But first, I must deal with you. The 
question of who is mightier remains. Yep, it sure does. Come, adventurer, let us find the answer together. Cool. I would usually start running around about now just to get rid of all of the these things but they only really matter within the extreme is what I've found because in the normal they don't really do all that much damage unless like they're all on top of you. Get fucking back over here because there's a fucking bomb. There we go. Get over here. Right, and now we've got basically until that bar fills to do that. <laughs> Pretty easy. Now he's no longer Golden Gaius. Heed me. The subjects of a weak ruler must needs look to a higher power for providence. And their dependence comes at a cost to the realm. The misguided elevate the frail. And the frail lead the people astray. Unless a man of power rests control. The cycle will never be broken. That's just a matter of your opinion, you, my dude. You of all people must see the truth in this. You who have the strength to rule. Please tell me I become empress at some point. Close. If I have the strength to rule. Let me rule. Let me rebuild. Boom. Pathetic. You boasted of unrivaled power. You were entrusted with the ultimate weapon, the ultimate magic. And still, you failed. So much for the glory of man. The growing imbalance afflicting the planet must be redressed. Does that? If it is permitted to worsen, the very laws of existence both etheric and physical 
will be warped beyond all recognition. Know you the root of this corruption? Hydaelyn. That's just a matter of your opinion. Like a parasite, she must be burned out if the planet is to recover. And not but the return of the one true god will ensure her complete excision. You do realize that the planet or star is called Hydaelyn? To pave the way for the master's return, a chaotic confluence of untold proportions must needs be brought about. And that will necessitate the presence of the primals. Needless to say, both you and your scion accomplices cannot be suffered to interfere in this endeavor. You will not leave this place alive. Do you know how wrong you are, La Habrea? There is like seven of us. There's one of you. Past time your flame was extinguished. Bring her light. There should be eight of us, but that person kind of disconnected. Nope, there is all eight of us. Okay. If thou wouldst pierce the shadows, make thee a blade of light. Here, Phil, think. I have become a paladin. <laughs> Ha ha ha, welcome to Heidelin. Oh, if anyone's wondering what I'm wearing, it is the Omega female, which you can get in the Mog Station. Bye bye, La Hebrea.
Tancred, come back to me. Please. If you guys haven't realized, Tancred is like my favorite character. Okay. He, he's amazing. I like Tancred. Okay, let's uh, commendate you. All right, guys, um, stay safe, explore Erosia, and uh, peace out.